thank you for joining me for another Property Management Mondays. This week I've been asked, how do I make sure I get an annual increase in rent? It's something I get asked by landlords all the time because they want to make sure that they're keeping up with both the market and inflation. The most 100% absolutely sure fire way you are gonna make sure that you get an annual increase in rent is to put it in your tenancy agreement that every year the rent will go up by X. You have to be fair here, and most of the time I see this agreed at somewhere between two and five percent. You must agree the percentage prior to the tenancy starting, and then you must make sure it's really, really clear within the tenancy agreement. Usually this is a fabulous idea for landlords and tenants because it already means that the rent increase is set in stone so you know what you're getting and the tenants know what to expect. That means no scary negotiation for you and the tenants don't have to be scared of huge huge rent hikes. It works really really well. If your tenant won't agree to that however every year you're gonna have to have a look at what the market's doing. For those of you of a letting agent instructed, they should do the work for you. They should do your renewal and they should agree at current market rent. Obviously they're going to ask you first and you're going to have to agree to it, but if they're involved, they're going to do it for you. If you don't already have a letting agent instructed or anybody that can deal with your renewals, you're going to have to look to the market yourself. So you're going to need to phone around agents and find out what comparable properties are letting for. You need to jot down the evidence and make sure you give it to your tenants and use it for negotiating. A top tip here is to make sure that you start your negotiations around two months before the tenancy comes to an end. Also, you need to make sure that you understand that the tenant may come back to you and say no. Be prepared for that because then you're going to have to negotiate on rent to make sure that you get something along the lines that you want. Obviously, whenever you go in for negotiations, always start higher than you wish to achieve. That gives you room for the manoeuvre if they come back and say, oh, I can't afford that much, but I can meet you here. That here might be actually where you want to settle. So give yourself a little bit of room for manoeuvre. And if at the end of the day, your tenant says, no, I'm not paying you any more rent, you then need to make a call as to whether it's worth having a void period or whether it's worth just saying, okay, I'll accept the rent as the same because actually that minimizes my cost of reletting and trying to get a higher rent when it could only be five pounds a week. It's not really worth it. So you need to weigh up the cost advantages of what you want to do. Okay, so just to recap, you have two options and both require you to be proactive in order to make sure that you get an annual increase. Number one, at the start of the tenancy, agree with the tenants to put in the tenancy agreement that every 12 months there'll be an annual increase in rent, and that is a set percentage. So it's in there, you know what's going to happen, and it's already dealt with. Or, if you can't agree that, then two months before your tenancy agreement expires, you need to be agreeing with your tenants open market rent. That's it, we're done for this week. Thank you very much for joining me on this Monday. I really do appreciate it. As always, if you need any help whatsoever, go over to www.mcrealestate.co.uk or drop me an email, a personal email straight to me, natasha at mcrealestate.co.uk and I will give you as best advice as I possibly can. That's all. We'll be seeing you soon. Thank you.